Hey kids, what's going on? This is Mr. Davila, and this is gonna be the instructional video on how to put a mouthpiece on a gooseneck for bass clarinet, okay? So when you're playing bass clarinet, if you have something that looks like this, this is called a gooseneck, okay? This part here with the cork, it goes inside the body of the bass clarinet, and this is where the mouthpiece goes into, okay? So how we connect them is this. We have a mouthpiece that looks like this. The bottom part is gonna have some cork, and then it's gonna have a flat part, a thin part, and then it goes all the way to the tip. Okay, so the cork part, we actually, we make a connection to the front part of the gooseneck. We make a connection here. As soon as we make a connection, we can twist left, right, left, right. And then we, we, we go all the way until we don't see any space in between the mouthpiece and the gooseneck, okay? If you've done this little part correctly, you're gonna see here where there's a space, there's a flat part here, and there's the opening for the mouthpiece and then the gooseneck, it goes all the way down here, okay? If you try putting the mouthpiece on here, it's not gonna fit and you, you might even break the mouthpiece. So make sure that you put it on the front part of the gooseneck, okay? All right, the next thing we'll do is we need to make sure to put the ligature on correctly. This is a ligature. This actually goes on top of, on top of the mouthpiece like this, okay? All right, so it should be like this. So if you've, if you've actually managed to do something like this, you've actually done it correctly. Just like this, it just slides. And notice how I'm holding it with two fingers and a thumb like this, and I slide it on just like that, okay? And then we do the same with a reed. A reed is gonna look like this. Yours might be in packaging, if it is, that's fine. But what we do is we slide it up. This is a reed, right? And I'm gonna show you here how it goes on. I'm gonna do it in, re in reverse so you can see it, okay? We push up with our f two fingers and a thumb. We slide the reed very carefully inside, and then we put it on. Watch, see if I can do it again. Okay, and then we wanna line up, I'll show you really closely here. We wanna line up the tip of this mouthpiece here to the tip of this reed. It should be all like this. And I'll show you how, how it's gonna look, the final product, okay? Let me adjust it, okay? It should look like this. The tip of the reed should be at the very tip of the mouthpiece, okay? And if you've done that, you successfully completed, you put a reed on to a mouthpiece and a gooseneck, okay? And then how to undo it is this. If, if you are actually dealing with the screw, okay, if you're screwing like, like in the downward direction like this, you're loosening it. And if you're screwing towards the top of the reed, you're actually tightening it, okay? Once you have it tightened where you feel it snug, then you let it go, okay? And then we're ready to make a sound on a bass clarinet. So if it looks like this, we're ready to go. And how you make a sound on a bass clarinet is you simply put the tip of the mouthpiece in your mouth and you put it right here on your bottom lip like this. And then you actually put the top teeth on top of the mouthpiece where it's just right here. Watch, I'll point to it. Put your top teeth here and keep them there. And then like this. And then blow air. Okay. All right. So that's how to put an actual mouthpiece on a gooseneck for a bass clarinet in less than four minutes. We hope this video helped. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, ask me or Mr. Funes, and we'll be more than happy to help you. Happy Thanksgiving.